It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 294. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel Winters Herzog. Hello. Hi, Noel. We're here to talk about Before the 90 Days, Season 7, Episode 6. And earlier today, we recorded and put out on Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast our mini recap of the entire Happily Ever After reunion. Yeah, we had a nice little discussion. It was a small discussion, but it was a mighty one. It was mighty. <laughs> it was very mighty. Um, guys, not only can you find that at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, which is right down there in your show notes, you can also find tons and tons of bonus content, including but not limited to BS, our favorite podcast, uh, recycled with Noel and Michael. Who the, what are you guys covering now? Mob wives? Mob wives. That's amazing. Um Macaroni Rascals, a Jersey Shore podcast. Mm -hmm. Vanderpump Rules is so pumped. That's the podcast for that. So that's Pretty. what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the podcast for that. <laughs> yeah. So there's tons of stuff going on. And we're also covering the other way on there. So if you were wondering where our other way content went, it went over there the other way at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. It's 1103. It's 1103, Sunday, October 6th. We just finished watching this. Yeah. And if you're listening on Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, you have the option of being an elite member and listening to this just moments after we've finished watching this episode. Hot off the presses. A lot of people complain. You know, we get a lot of great ratings and reviews on iTunes and Apple Podcasts or whatever you call it. Uh -huh. And then once in a while, we get someone that's like, Love this podcast. My favorite podcast. One star. I have to wait a week to listen to it. Suck a dick. Wow, Noel. That's not very no. nice. Okay. But here's instead, the thing. instead, you could just go and join the elite at Patreon and you could get it the moment we release it. The thing is, guys, this is a long ass show. You have no clue how long and we this have is. so many other shows that we cover and we have we, to edit. We have yeah, to do so many things. There's so, a lot that goes on. So it's like we love you. But like, come on, give us a break. Give us a break. Yeah. Give Thank us a you break. so much. Give us just a breather. But if you don't want to give us a breather, you know where to go. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Let's jump into the pool with Tiger Lily and Adnan. Yeah, this seems to be going well. Everything's going well. I just like the fact that she has decided that she's taking her makeup artist on the road with her. And yet she is gluing her eyelash to the middle of her eye. Yeah, In, there's she's, something she's, wrong with her. She's gluing it to her pupil. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? You're not wrong. It's just I don't know. The, this whole thing. Is this real? Is this not real? It's like, really got married. It. No, I know, but it's more this whole comparing things like uh, I can't shake a hand. So you can't shake oh, the hand. double standards. Yeah. Thing. Like, yeah. is this real? Well, you know? this is the day after their wedding. It's 2 p.m. And they wake up and they're ready to go on their honeymoon accompanied by her makeup artist, her hair guy. She thinks she's a Kardashian. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. And his brother. Yeah, his brother seems great. She only has three days left in Jordan. Then she has to go back to America. Okay, but wasn't she there for... I thought she was supposed to be there for like two weeks or something. Well, maybe she was, but the original... That wedding, I think it, it was a little bit after the first day she landed. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I think there was activity in between there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of like, I don't know. You know, Here's the thing. Play the game. Because when you go back to America, you can make out with all of the men you want to. Wow. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> well, they're going to Petra for their honeymoon. Right. And it takes her a really long time to get ready because it's part of who she is. Now, I know, Noelle, that you mm -hmm. love when people say things like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love it. It's part of who she is. It's just part of who I am and you have to accept it. It's like, yeah, you're rude. Yeah, you're an asshole. Here's the thing. Don't give me that excuse that this is who you are. You can change it. You know it's obnoxious. You make these men wait three hours for you. Divorce. Divorce. Okay. It's never But you don't look great. I got married and it took me less than three hours to get ready. But you don't look great. You don't have on a stitch of blush, may I add. So, what did you do? She just like, I don't know, curled her extensions. The curls aren't even like 
in right. I don't know. None of this is right. Right. Her eyelashes are in the middle of her. She glue. Pupil. That's why she can't get ready. She number one glues her eyelashes to the middle of her pupil. And mm -hmm. she's like, this is like getting ready if I was cheaty. Right. <laughs> I'm surprised that they don't show us her point of view and just have like a spider. That would be great going on in the on the screen. Here's the thing. You know that you're in a Muslim country. Mm hmm. You didn't Google.com anything before you got there. She did not Google.com ladies in Jordan. What context clues mm -hmm. made you believe mm -hmm. that you should wear a crop top tits out? Yeah, but if, as long as it's like a very deep V-neck, it cancels out the crop top because they're not looking at your <laughs> belly button anymore. They're looking at your cleavage. His brother has a problem with this. Well, his brother's like, hey... This is yeah. inappropriate. He's giving her a fact and not an opinion. Right. He's like, you're my sister-in-law, so I should be able to say this. Right. But he's not saying, I don't think you look pretty. He's saying it's not what appropriate. you're wearing is not appropriate right. for our religion. That's a fact. He's not wrong. But that's just a fact. But how does, why has Adnan, 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 Adnan not told her this? Because he is 17 years old. Yeah, he's a child. He's a child. Yes. And then he's, <laughs> he's going through his rebellious, he's, he's going through his terrible twos right oh. now. <laughs> so he, they've waited for three hours for her. So yeah. yeah. Of course he's going to tell her that her tits are out. He's well, mad. I mean, how rude can you be? And what took three hours exactly? But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, Adnan is so angry because he's upset that his brother confronted her. I guess because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then she goes, quote, I've never seen him like this before. You never met him before this. So also, where would you have seen this happen? If On I've, television? But if I've seen him like this before. You right. have it, but I you have, have it because you glued your eyelashes to the middle of the seeing part of your eyes. <laughs> You've never seen anything before. <laughs> How could you? How could you? How could you? How could you? I got an eyelash in my eye once and I couldn't see for four weeks. Oh, God, guys, we never heard the end of this either. <laughs> she still know, talks about this. I can't see. I know. I can't see without my sunglasses. Oh, I know. We left Food Emporium today. You're like, I'm blind. Can't see. I feel like cheating. Can't see. But you see or what Target I'm saying? Or whatever we left. Yeah. Listen, it was every single place we left today, and I could yeah. not see in any of them. All right. So there's a full car for your honeymoon. What a honeymoon. It's yeah, so honey and moony. Sucks. So your brother has to come to help you drive. How far are they driving? I don't know, but I'm glad his brother's there because they have a whole another honeymoon going on. But also, why does Shay sit in between the two men isn't that why is that allowed his brother has his arm around shay like half the time so how is this allowed i don't know noel it's a double standard it's a double standard oh it's a double standard right but it's just it's weird to me that that's okay so his brother's like yeah your shirt is low cut and she's like what i don't even understand what you're saying and it's like yeah your boobs are out hon. your boobs are out it's the your boobs are pressed together <laughs> And we can see the crack of them. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. In your very sexy push up. Yeah. Stop. Yes. <laughs> All right. So there's camels. There's ca it looks cool. I like it. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. I didn't know that. Well, depending on who you ask, because the seven, seven wonders of the world are very. Um, everyone has a different opinion. Everyone has a different. Yeah. Wonder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wonders differently. Everyone wonders differently because Noel and I have definitely Googled this before. More than once. <laughs> Way more, more than, than once. More than one podcast. More, th more than seven times. <laughs> and every time we get a different wonder. Every time. Okay. And every so, time I say Stonehenge, Stonehenge, Stonehenge. <laughs> First of all, it's 11 11. I'd like everyone to make a wish. And okay. by everyone, I just mean me and you because I don't know what time it is when people are listening to this. Okay. All right. Seven wonders of the world. Okay. <clears throat> so. The new Seven Wonders of the World was a campaign started in 2001 to choose Wonders of the World from a selection of 200 existing monuments. Come okay, on. so it's just monuments. So it's like Easter Island. Okay, so the Stonehenge. official, the official Seven Wonders of the World. Uh huh. Okay, this is the new one. Let's see what they. Okay, uh, the Seven Wonders of the Modern World, and then there's the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Okay, so the ancient one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce any of these, but here we are. Don't worry about it. Just um, do you. Okay, so the Great Pyramid of Giza. 
Okay. Uh huh. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Okay. The Statue of Zeus at Olympia in Greece. Okay. The Temple of Artemis in Turkey. The Mausoleum of Halle Carnassus in Turkey. I don't, I don't even know what that is. That's me. That's my. Yeah. Uh huh. The Colossus of Rhodes in Greece. The Lighthouse of Alexandria in Egypt. That's the seven wonders of the world. Then the new seven wonders of the world. This is a 2007 list. This is like a this New a York Times list. Right. Yeah, this is like New York Times. This is like Oprah's favorite thing. Oh, what is it like? Cracked.com. Right. This is Oprah's favorite things. Every year there's a new list. Okay. Um, okay. So this is cheat. Chichen Itza in Mexico. Okay, great. Christ the Redeemer in Brazil. We know him. Yes, I know the him. guy that's like, ah. yeah, he's the guy. What do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like thumbs up Jesus, but like right. not exactly. Yeah. <laughs> then we have what was Machu that dogma Picchu, Buddy Christ. Yes, that's exactly what it is, Buddy Christ. <laughs> Machu Picchu in Peru, the Great Wall of China. Uh, Petra, located in Jordan, oh. is renowned for its exceptional natural and architectural beauty, as well as its historical and cultural significance. This is the so this was on the 2007 list. Was it on the OG list? Okay. <laughs> the intricately carved archaeological site dating back to the 6th century BC served as a strategically positioned city along the trade routes between the East and the West, despite being in decline during the Roman times. Oh, sh well, um. It was rediscovered by a Swiss explorer, Jonathan jo Johan. I'm so sorry, Johan Lud Ludwig Burkhardt in 1812. One of its most iconic structures, the Al Kaznet, known as the Treasury, a magnificent mausoleum carved into Red Rock Canyon. Wow. So that's what it is. Oh, okay, that's really cool, though. Very cool. Then it's the Taj Mahal, the Colosseum. Um, and that's it. So I think the 2007 list is more like mainstream. That's more, more like stuff when, I would know. Right, right. That's more like when Oprah had the macaroni and cheese from the Reading Market in Philly. Oh, cute. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know the Reading Market. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So anyway, that's where they're going. That's where they're headed. Um, okay. So last night, Anand had a lot of nightmares. He was dreaming people were in the room. Well. You have everyone in the car right now, so it's the same thing. Well, that's what I mean. You have a car, a caravan full of people. If Literally you a caravan. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. pun intended. Uh huh. So she changed how she interacts with men. Right. She changed her whole world for him. Uh, and by changed her whole world, she means she doesn't hug Cruz as much. Wow. What a dream. Mm -hmm. wow. This sounds great. Guys, she I, I'm assuming that this is a gay man as well. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Am I tripping or did they not say that him and Shay were a couple? Oh, really? Yeah. I oh. would swear they were a couple. I mean, she is out to lunch, Shay. There oh. is something dead in her eyes. You know, like in It, the deadlights? That's what her <laughs> eyes are. Shay has the deadlights. I don't know what's up with Shay. Something bad happened to her when she was a child and she has never recovered. That's actually pretty accurate. Yeah. Something That's... bad happened. I like Cruz, though. Good energy. Sure. I mean, I think they all need to, uh, I don't know, go home. Yeah, I think it's time to go home. I can't believe they stayed the whole trip. I don't know why I didn't think they were staying the whole trip. I don't know why they stayed the whole trip either, because I got to tell you, if I didn't have my phone mm -hmm. and I couldn't text and talk and use my unlimited plan, I'd lose my mind. I'd lose my mind. And guess what? This episode is brought to you by Mint Mobile. With big wireless providers, what you see is never what you get. Somewhere between the store and your first month's bill, the price you thought you were paying magically skyrockets. With Mint Mobile, you'll never have to worry about gotchas ever again. When Mint Mobile says $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, they mean it. Well, everyone's mm -hmm. broke. Yeah, no kidding. I'm one of those broke people. I know. Thank God we switched to Mint Mobile because $15 a month is very different from what we used to pay. Huge difference. And we get to use our own phone. It's not like we had to buy a new phone or anything. No, I know because I'm like, I love my phone. I didn't want to change phones. Well, say bye-bye to your overpriced wireless plans 
jaw-dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages, Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans starting at 15 bucks a month. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. Ditch overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's deal and get three months of premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month to get this new customer offer and your new three month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month. Go to mintmobile.com slash fiance. That's mintmobile.com slash fiance. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash fiance. $45 upfront payment required equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on a first three month plan only speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees and restrictions apply. See mint mobile for details and as always where's that gonna be where's that info show notes oh let's talk about chidi and rain renee renee is spiraling okay she's a very mean and scary person yes she you know there's a certain type of person i do not like to be around i could deal with me and i could deal with scary i can't deal with her people like her no I totally agree there. Um, they keep showing Chidi's point of view where like, you know, he can't see anything yeah. mm-hmm. and I could see uh, rain Renee uh-huh. losing sight herself. Rain Renee is delusional. That's the problem. Yes. Yeah. She's very delusional. Mm-hmm. So um, they, he hasn't, okay. He mm-hmm. hadn't been to an eye doctor in 10 years, I guess. Cause they were like, you're not going to see again. He's like, right. He's like, say no noted. more fam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> heard (laughs) (laughs) all right right like 86 eyes subglasses got it (laughs) oh yeah i'm just saying wow noel 11 19 p.m on sunday october 6 2024 and this is how you behave i would love to have a coffee right now i'd be real rip roar i'm glad you didn't have one (laughs) all right so in his left eye they see cataracts but also glaucoma right and he has very high eye pressure now yeah. I'm not an eye doctor, uh-huh. but that's the thing where they like tap your eye. Right? I you used hate to, that. Okay. I know you do. Cause you used to take Elaine to the eye doctor. Yes. All the time. All right? the time. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. I used to take my grandma. Yeah. Is that funny? <laughs> that's like when you go to an eye doctor. Yeah. Who's in the waiting room? A hundred year old people. It is the old. It's almost like, do young people have eyes? <laughs> no, well, it is the oldest doctor. Like if we were going to go, for like the if we had to traffic old people just go to the optometrist slept ophthalmologist okay and then yeah the ophthalmologist and then what you do is you put an accessoride van outside yeah yes and you're like i'm here to pick up ruth they would swarm <laughs> beverly <laughs> ruth barbara barbara they'd all come and you're like all right Great. well actually the bus is full <laughs> The bus filled up in 10 minutes, so <laughs> we got to oh, we gotta so skedaddle. Tr- I've, like, never seen a young person there. It's not like going to the gyno. It's only younger oh, wow. girls there. Yeah. It is the oldest demographic. It's so true. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I like, take a leg there all the time. And we would have to go to, like, the Stations of the Cross. Okay. <laughs> Noel. They're like, all right, uh, Elaine you're here you're okay yeah just come over here we're just gonna hit you in the head with a hammer real quick <laughs> and you're like okay and then they're like all right go sit back down then it's like okay right? elaine come play pac-man for a minute <laughs> elaine we're gonna put this purple dye in your eyes and then you're just gonna go sit back down okay we're gonna call you when we need you am i wrong it's so true though this is what we did uh-huh and then they're it was like, a okay, full day wait. you commit literally elaine yeah. elaine we're gonna blow a leaf blower in your left eye <laughs> then next will be a fire hose <laughs> sit back down <laughs> sit back down <laughs> oh my god i'll never forget never forget i went to this eye doctor and they dilated my eyes and i'm like hey before we do that just know like i drove here by myself right like i was just coming here for a checkup like i don't know like i could see right and he was like, oh, um, hmm, okay. Um, he's like, are you a good driver? <laughs> I'm like, I guess. <laughs> and he goes, 
have you ever driven while you were crying i was like have i <laughs> you don't know me i was like he's like are you good at it i was like yeah he's like you'll be fine and i went where was the doctor it was on main street okay okay so i go i had to go to austin street to get my boyfriend a button down shirt at the gap and of course this is so on brand for you okay uh-huh. the gap. so now i'm i drive to austin street i don't know where i'm going <laughs> i can't I'm just driving on a wish and a prayer. <laughs> okay. The gap on Austin Street is two floors. Yes, it is. But it's like one floor is on earth and one is in heaven. Is that where Strawberry was? Y- no, 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 no. It's right. Uh, it's like a cross street from Lucille Roberts. It's like a double uh, wow. spiral. A spiral? Okay. Right. I get up to the top. Mm-hmm. Can't get down. <laughs> I'm like, there's no Damn. way I can walk. Through. I waited for like a really long time. And then They're I was probably like, like, hey, she's going to steal all of the trousers up here. <laughs> all the chinos. Check her back. I'm like, hey, um, I can't get down the stairs. And I had to go oh. in like the service elevator. That's crazy. Noelle. You probably shouldn't have been driving. I definitely <laughs> shouldn't have been driving. But he was probably like, look at this young chickadee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's the youngest chick I've seen all week in this place. <laughs> She's the youngest chick I've ever seen. She could definitely drive. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, do it. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so anyway. <laughs> so all I'm trying to say is I know a lot about eyes. Because one time I went to the eye doctor. <laughs> one time. One time she drove home on a prayer. <laughs> All right. So the, his pressure in his eyes is 5963. And it's supposed to be between 11 and 21 per That's eye. Wild. Okay. So his nerves aren't active. And once your nerves are dead, they're dead. D E D dead. That's sad. Okay. But it makes you wonder. Uh huh. Okay. If you're an eye doctor or maybe even just a reg doctor, mm-hmm. but not like a PhD in like, you know, archaeology. Okay. Go to our group, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk on Facebook and tell me if he would have gone to the doctor earlier, Mm -hmm. would he have a chance? That's what I wonder. It's like, did his nerves die on contact? Were they murdered? Murdered nerves. Right. Like, what if he had gone five years earlier? What if he had gone the day the apple fell on his head? (laughs) You know, that poor guy. And then he, what did he, he hit his head on a dresser the next day or know. something. I don't know. Here's the other thing. Yeah. Are these accidents real or does he have glaucoma? Was this a trauma coma or a Glock? Coma? Or did he get hit with a Glock? Right. Like what happened? What happened? Did, did like, are they related or unrelated? Right, it was like, he kinda... he got, would he have gone blind without the apple? Right. But now also he like kind of was sticking to this trauma story. And then all of a sudden he's like, yeah, but then I got hit by an apple. But like, I don't know. Right. Do you think that's what happened to grandma? Who's grandma? Your grandma? grandma? Yeah. She had glaucoma. She had. I don't even know what that means. That's a weird word to say with your mouth. Glaucoma. Glaucoma. She had a gun. She had a Glock. Um, Aunt Mary has a Glock. Oh dear. Um she, great Noel. She had cataract surgery, both uh-huh. of in both of her eyes. Yeah. Grandma. And then I think maybe she had So you think she got hit with an apple? <laughs> Did she fall into her dresser? I don't know. You see what I'm saying though? It's like interesting story. Happened? Yeah. What happened? Noel, now that it's fall. We're going to have so many people over. Oh, God. Every day. You always have people over. You make a little charcuterie board. I love charcuteries. People love charcuterie. I love that when you do a charcuterie, it's just 400 cheeses. I mean, what else do you need? Cheese and wine. And then just (laughs) like like a, a little bowl of grilled grapes or something fun. Grilled grapes, grilled olives. Oh, those grilled olives are good, too. Delicious. Well, you know, it's very hard for us to pick wines because like we always like to have something on hand Mm -hmm. because we have a lot of company. We have a lot of company and you everybody wants wine. Well, First Leaf is a personalized wine club that knows our wine preferences better than you do. Every month, they send a customized selection of wines that you're guaranteed to love. Getting started with First Leaf was a breeze. So I answered a few quick questions about my wine preferences on their site, and they put together an amazing assortment of top 
notch wines. I love that because I have to tell you, there are so many things to pick from. I don't know. Yeah, but these are personalized based on the quiz. And yeah, they get delivered. I love that. They get delivered right to our door. So cool. One of the best parts about First Leaf is how they let me control the delivery schedule. So depending on like what you have going on that month. See, that is perfect. I can choose exactly when my wines arrive. So I never have to worry about missing a delivery. It's super convenient. Okay. So I took the quiz. Mm -hmm. And this month, I have. Um, so there's a lot. Listen, obviously, there's stuff I can't pronounce because we're trying new things here. Yeah, of course. So we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. This is Love. from 2020. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then we have a uh, Garnacha from mm. Spain. Do you know Sounds about this? No, I don't. You see, we're learning. We're learning. Yeah, and that's we crazy. And I used to teach a wine class. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. I know. And then we have a Vino Tinto from Spain. Ooh, okay. We have another Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. Okay. Then I have a little red blend from Spain. Mm. And then a Pinot Noir from California. You're a red girl. Yeah, these are all the reds because here's the thing. It's fall now. Well, that's true too. And you want something a little... Warm. Have you ever had <laughs> blue cheese and red wine together? Yes, delicious. Oh my God. It's just, how did they go so well together? It's really crazy. Yeah, it's it is. super crazy. It's like, listen, we're going to be making cranberry muffins for our chartreuteries. Yes, we will. Uh, a little blue cheese, a little red wine. We got this going. Sounds delicious But that's me. just because that's how I answered the quiz. Like, you can get, and you can also, like, swap out bottles and stuff. It's really pretty cool. If you get a bottle that I, you don't absolutely love, it's not a problem because First Leaf has a 100% satisfaction guarantee. I have to tell you, I in the past have bought bottles of wine that haven't been good. Yeah. You can't just like bring them back to the liquor store. You can't. You cannot. You, you can cannot. try. You'd be surprised, <laughs> but you can try. They don't give you your money back. No. <laughs> so get cozy and pop open that perfect bottle of wine from First Leaf. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash fiance to sign up and you'll get your first six hand packed bottles for just $44.95. That's tryfirstleaf.com. T R Y F I R S T L E A F dot com slash fiance. Try first leaf dot com slash fiance. Noel, forty four ninety five. Yeah. For I, six bottles. I have to tell everyone I know about this. This is wild. Yeah. Um, well, stay tuned because we'll be talking about which wines we got, what they tasted like, and how they tasted with blue cheese. Awesome. All right. Well, they said that if he doesn't reduce the pressure in his eyes, they might have to remove his eyes. That's wild. I feel bad for him. That's so sad. So yeah. they're going to give him meds to reduce the pressure. Right. Like, or can't you just like pinprick? Okay. But that I was like, why can't you just like release like, some open the, the valve? Just un re just to release some of the air. Like, you yeah. know how, when I, you know, like in the Hamptons, when I, when I take the swan uh -huh, in the in pool, the Hamptons, uh huh. I just take some of the air out. I was just thinking like a pressure cooker. Oh, or that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In the Hamptons. You know, when I go to the Hamptons, when I go to Shinnecock. Oh, <laughs> oh Noel. Oh, Tracy. Not nice. Um, mm -hmm. so okay, we switch very quickly to the next scene. Yeah. Where she's talking about her chickens with him. And he's like, I actually wish I was deaf now. She's like, they talk to me. Yeah, he's like, oh, okay, wow. I believe right. it. I mean, I believe it. On your hot pocket diet, I think it's starting to be real delusional. <laughs> She's like, they actually talk back. And he's like, great. He's like, great, great. Give me another apple. I'm going to hit myself in the ear. <laughs> or like Sheila, a broomstick. Oh, that's right. That was crazy. Okay. Now they have to wash their hands in the bowl of holy water on the All table. Right. I have to tell you. I listened to the scene. Okay. I did not watch it. You it know I very, couldn't. Okay. Here, here's what was very hard for me. Uh-huh. You're washing your hands. You're just kind of rinsing them. Let me be the first person to do it, though. I, you can, you. I can't be less on that list. <laughs> okay. Now you're taking this cassava, right? Mm -hmm. Which is just mashed potatoes. That's yeah. what it is. Uh-huh. And you're not just warming it. Yeah. You're really... Yeah. Getting in there with your You're hand germs. You're making it into a puck. You're making it into a hand germ. Like I could actually vomit. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, her sister's like explaining it to her, and she's like, "Yeah, I got it. 
yeah, she's so nasty. Mm-hmm. She's the one who always her whole life was like, I'm going to have problems with sisters. OK, uh-huh. but you see how like the switch goes off. I know she goes lights out. That's what I'm saying. We yeah. see Chidi go lights out, but she's really the one You're that's right. going lights out. You're right. OK, she hates Victoria. But like, what is the problem? She decided she hated her for no reason. She's evil to her. Yeah. All right. So they're having this soup. It's like kind of spicy. She's Mm -hmm. mean. Yeah. She is mean, as you would say, as the day is long. She is. Now, Victoria's like, okay, listen, this girl's going to kill me in my sleep. So let me just make some chitty chat. Sure, of course. She's like, what kind of stuff do you eat in the U.S.? And she goes, everything's prepackaged. I don't cook. We have a very large uh, variety of packaged foods and that's all we eat and i only eat pizza and hot pockets and it's like well that is why you're acting like this your iron is low <laughs> your iron's low your sodium's high yeah your sodium's your- high check your eye pressure your eyes are about to shoot out of your head <laughs> her you fucking eyes are probably like you should have gone to the station point. of the cross <laughs> you should have gone to the one where you they did a fire hose fire- she should have gotten fire hose. Oh, man. <laughs> no. Okay. Also, side note. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of TikTok. I know you're shocked. Wow. Do you know that they have this thing at the eye doctor where they get this machine and it goes underneath your eyelids and it cleans your eyes out? I would love that. They said it's like the best thing in the world. No, I would love that. Isn't that weird? I mean, you know me. Everything gets trapped under my <laughs> eyelid, too. Yeah. This is another reason why lashes, though, scare me. No, Al. Yeah. Noelle, I can't go outside if it's windy. Right. <laughs> right. Like, I have a problem with lip gloss. I have my a hair sticks to it. I have an astronaut helmet on when it's windy. <laughs> She's very special, guys. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So she doesn't cook. Mm-hmm. And there, she's like, okay, all right. Next question. That was the worst. She's like, um, do you think that Chidi will be close with your children? She's like, yeah, well, he's already close with them. It's like, wow. And they're mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, because they hear about him. And I just say a lot of things like we're very close. And she's like, oh, how are you close with him? What is what makes you think you're close with him? Like, right. What? And she's like physically. And she's like, oh, I know. How so, could you even? It's not like she said something dirty to her. Yep. And she's got like, a life. Yeah. So she's really mad. And then she's decided to confront her. And she's like, why do you look so angry? And she's like, I'm not angry. But then they show her just making oh, peace. I mean, she is going to jam this little kid. Yeah. Cassava. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this she's poor like, kid. swallow, swallow. This is like the human centipede of cassava. <laughs> I did. I will tell you what I did like, though. I liked how she said it was so spicy. This little kid's eating this soup. She's like, how is he oh, eating this? This is so spicy. I'm dying. <laughs> that was just, so funny. She's like, I'm just about my baby. It's like, yeah, you're going to choke him because you're, you're mad gonna, at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just about my baby. Did you see how much cassava I just jammed at his throat? He's like six months old. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just formula, please. That's all. He is aspirating <laughs> on cassava. She, but, okay, but then Rain is like, you have to be a snake to swallow this. <laughs> She's like, it's like a ball of clay in the back of your <laughs> That was pretty funny. You're the only person I know that could swallow that. <laughs> you can swallow, like, anything. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I can take a... I, cause, why? Because I take a whole handful of pills. Yeah. I she, I, you have a... I go to your house, you have a ramekin of your morning vitamins. <laughs> I'm like, it's your zombie food. <laughs> yeah. And you just take the whole thing in one uh-huh. shot. Yeah. What are They're you very doing? large pills. Well, I could probably go to. I can't even swallow a fucking Advil. <laughs> I could probably go to where are they? Oh, my Nigeria? God. No. Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. I could probably go to Nigeria yeah. and eat a little cassava soup. You could. I don't know. What's in the soup? Do we know anything about That's this? what I want to know more because then it's also like, is this the one that uh, uh, Niles had? It looked very similar. No. Niles had snails. Though. No, 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 no. This was like <laughs> more of a beef stew, if you will. Oh, God. I'm dying Niles right had now. not good anything. But, but we're I go. mean, 
Honestly, it's not a bad idea. Let's have some beef soup with mashed potatoes on the side. Hello. Yeah, it's not so bad. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you. All right. This is weird editing, though, because they're fighting, but like not. But like that's what I so I wrote. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. So Rain is super insecure, says Mm -hmm. Chidi. And she's being really nasty and he's worried about how nasty she is. Yeah, I don't blame him. But also, you've known she's nasty. Right. So she said that her gut is never wrong. Okay. It's like, all right, well, it's filled with cassava. Yeah, really? You have a cement gut right now. (laughs) So she wants to stay in a hotel. And she tells him the next day, she's like, hey, I apologize for yelling. It's like, why were you yelling? Why were you yelling? And he... not normal. He doesn't want to stay in the hotel with her because he might give in to temptation. But and that's she's the yelling, whole point. She right. wants him to. And she's yelling, ah, yeah, yeah, ah, ah. She's nasty. Ooh, she's nasty. She's so nasty. She's so mean. You know who she kind of reminds me of? Mm-hmm. Um, TJ Swa and what was her name? TJ. And- oh, TJ and uh, they just broke up, right? Uh, yeah, she, she's Kimberly. Real, Kimberly. She's uh-huh. kind of like that kind of nasty. Nasty. All right. Moving on to Lauren and Faith. Mm. Speaking of nasty, poor Faith, though. I mean, could you I just want to hug her forever. So sad. So uh-huh. Lauren goes to the clinic. He has gonorrhea. He has seven days of antibiotics. Stop telling me about your dripping dick, please. I no, cannot leaky. handle it. It's leaky disgusting leaking so she he facetimes with esther and esther's like i'm so glad this is just a facetime and you're not touching me yes so he explains it Mm -hmm. he's like yes she thought when i said i was sleeping with other people that i was just taking a nap with them he knew that's not he was doing okay but Uh also you never told her you were sleeping with other stop please right and also when we first met him, also, like I, I got to tell you, the girl yeah. speaks English. I know. Right. I have bad news for you, buddy. When we first met him, he said, I've been sleeping with other people. Like, and I, I haven't know if told- she knows that. I haven't told her. Thank right. you. So don't lie. All right. Well, Faith goes to hang out with her friends and get her nails done. Mm-hmm. And she tells them about the STD. She starts crying and then her friends start crying. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm going to cry. Uh-huh. And I'm like, uh-huh. this is it. This uh-huh. is it. And then her friend who had a good point, he's like, listen, just to not make her feel bad. Like, it's not like he doesn't love you. Like, this is just who he is. kind of. Yeah, because I mean, he did travel all the way here to see you. Right. So she said, I owe him a conversation. It's like, yeah, don't break up with him without talking to him. Yeah, of course you should talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Niles and Matilda. I'm almost sad that Niles doesn't want to marry Matilda right away. Me too. I don't really understand why he doesn't want to. It's like, what are you busy? Right. Why? What's the problem? She loves you. She loves you. She loves it. I love her. I love her so much. I think she's so cute. She too. is the cutest. Right. All right. So he's flying to Ghana. He's in the exit row. He doesn't know if he's going to have to, you know, spring into action. Uh-huh. <laughs> so they're going to be staying in Akara for a few days before yeah. they come back to her hometown for the wedding. Right. And her brother Hayford is going to go to make sure that Niles can take care of his sister. And I think this is like so cute. Yeah. And it's like a five or six six hour bus ride yeah i think this is very cute she's yeah. so cute they oh my to- god she's dressed so cute she's adorable i can't she gets to the airport she open mouth kisses this man yeah and he does not get the memo no i know and she's like making out with him and he's not making out with her he's like oh my god mm-hmm. and then we find out mm-hmm. that he requested that she call him daddy, daddy. and she does it and she giggles the whole time. But that was so funny. It, she just she has giggles. She's just like, daddy, daddy. Very weird and funny at the same time. So funny. All right. So they get in the car. No AC. I know. She's like, we don't have AC here. She gets in the car with Stefan or Cal. <laughs> <laughs> she does. And he has to tell her that they are not going to get married, but he doesn't know how to tell her. Here's the thing. I think it's too late now. Too late, baby. Yeah. Too late, baby. Now it's too late. Uh, here we go. Okay. And then she says, they go out to eat and she mm-hmm. says, you're going to eat the fufu. They order mm-hmm. a, a stew, if you will, uh-huh. of crab, smoked fish, snail, and goat. I mean, this guy loves it. I mean, he was like, so I'm thinking He's like, like okay. what is this? A carburetor? This is delicious. Uh, right. I'm thinking like, 
what is he going to think of the texture of the snail? Loves it. And he's just he's like, like, I'll take another. Yeah. Another round of snails on the house, please. Snail. This snail was the size of. I've never seen a snail. That a was a slug on steroids. I've never seen a snail that big. Did he eat the shell? I I would hope not. They I were hope they like, it. We just. Uh, uh, mm. I didn't hear a crunch, though. I think he swallowed it whole. He loved it. He did. He should be in Nigeria eating some <laughs> cassava right. balls. Maybe he could have a cassava snail. Oh, man. He loves it. Then mm-hmm. they get back to the hotel. Uh huh. They are making out in bed. Okay. She gets on top of him, and I'm like, well, <laughs> so much for staying abstinent. Okay. Also, you guys better be, better be getting married today. Yeah. So she's like, does she, they need each other. It's like, all right. Well, well, here we go. Mm-hmm. Brian and Ingrid. Oh, that's so funny. I wrote Isabel, even though her name is Ingrid. Go Whatever. figure. <laughs> All right. So it's the next day. He just mm-hmm. met her son the day before. Right. And they're going to go to a ranch while he's at school. They're going to go out to a BRB resort. Like, be right back. Also, he's been to Brazil more than 30 times. Because he was on the... That yeah, league. that's and wild. Also he was, he kept... I know. I know. Hello. Mm-hmm. All right. All of a sudden, they get out of the car. They're both in bathing suits on a swing. She sits on him on a in a thong like so much for being mad at him. OK, you are not that mad. I've never I've never been less mad at my life than that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. He bought her a, a, a her son a car to play yeah. with. Yeah. He did what it. What would happen if he bought you something? You know what I mean? What he did it happen? He did it. He's like, do I know Brazilian women or do I know Brazilian women? I mean, here's the thing. They're kissing. They're necking, basically. Okay, but he showed up at her house after she said don't. Uh Uh-huh. He showed up to her house in a remote location. Yes. Uh It's not like... He um, forced himself into meeting her son. Uh Uh-huh. She told her that he was a drug dealer. Yep. And now they're making out in thongs. Yeah. And she's, quote unquote, scared because he used to be a drug dealer. No, you're not. Okay, I can tell you something from what I'm observing. You don't seem very scared. You don't seem very scared. I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. That's not what I would do if I was scared. (laughs) Right. (laughs) That is not what I do when I'm scared. Okay, I would uh, A, call number one. Mm -hmm. B, um, lock my door. Right. C, um, call number one again. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you were you just told me you were a drug dealer. You know what? It's a good idea. Come on, announce to meet my infant baby. <laughs> I know that kid was so cute too. Okay, but he's at school. No, uh-huh. he's not. He's not at school. Was he learning how to walk? <laughs> he's definitely not in school. What kind of school is he in? He's probably with her parents or something. Yeah. School. yeah. All right. Well, they are kissing a lot, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Listen, there's more to the story. I'm not just a drug dealer." It's, it's like, how many sides to the story is there? And then he's like, you know, I was in the hospital for two months and I just want to help people meditate. What was the other part of the story? Sir? And, now, and now everyone's crying. But what was the other part of the story? I don't that's know it? that he was in bed for two months. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, that's what happens when you get shot in the back for being a drug dealer. Yeah. And your your wife ordered it from amazon.com <laughs> wayfair you got just a nine <laughs> <laughs> hello wayfair <laughs> hello wayfair hello hi um i would like to order um hmm. my husband was a drug dealer and he told me that he doesn't love me anymore what can i get him mm, say no more fam Should look I get him a it. dresser I mean, or an end table. What about an end table? What about a side table? What's the difference between a side table and an end table? I've always wondered the same thing. Well, you you work at Wayfair. You should know these things. That's your only job. I don't have. I don't. I'm not good at my job. Clearly not. Yeah. All right, fine. You know what? Forget it. Just order a carjacking. How many guys? How many got? Um, I think two should do it. That's fine. Can you also give me a side table? Sure. <laughs> What's the difference between side table and end table? It doesn't matter. I want solid wood. I, I know you do. I know you do. You live in the Hamptons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I have to go let the air out of my swan so his eyes don't explode. I got to go to Shinnecock. <laughs> All right. Oh. Moving on to Sunny and Vea. Ew. 
what's wrong with her exactly? Tell me. Okay. Tell me, doctor. There's something so wrong with her. I would love to know what it is. You mean physically, like aesthetically or mentally? Oh, I think I think it goes hand in hand. It seems that she has a wig on, but she does not. <laughs> okay. What would you do? Uh-huh. See, I've been going to listen. I don't I don't like to reveal too much of my personal life, but I have uh-huh. heel spurs. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Uh-huh. I've been going to physical therapy. Mm-hmm. Vea claims she's a physical therapist. No, she's not. If I showed up to physical therapy. Mm hmm. And this woman was there. Mm-hmm. First of all, she would have to rub my feet. Well, I mean, that goes without saying. I was like, everyone listen, either has to rub your feet or your meatball. <laughs> my, let me tell you, my meatball is sore. Well, I'm going to have to get you my a rub. Me- my meatball is a trap. That's my trap. My trapezoid muscle. Her trapezoid is her meatball. Um, they, you know how I know there's something wrong with her? Yeah. She came to see her man mm-hmm. in sweatpants and a halter. Mm-hmm. Those two yeah, things. but it's a one, one it's of a one these shoulder. things are not like the other. <laughs> that's what is this? What it's is one this shoulder? Look? It's one shoulder. It's very, what all the kids uh, are wearing. Very Grecian. Um, <laughs> she's one of the wonders of the world. <laughs> I see that that hair is a wonder. She's buddy Jesus. But it's also, <laughs> but it's also the way she talks. Like no, there's no. just something off. There's about something her. off. But I think it's I think it's all wired together with the mental. Really? I do. Interesting. You think it was her hard time as a Mormon? I think it was definitely at least one hard night. Yeah. That definitely um, broke her brain a little bit. Broke her brain. And yeah. basically, mostly one of the nerves in her brain. No, that controls her off. mouth. Yeah. Choking. Something is off. All right. So she's trying to hide Rory. Also, I don't even think she likes Sonny. No. Yeah, she doesn't like him. No. I think she likes Rory. Yeah. So she's she's like, I'm gonna text Rory seven 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 so that he knows he could leave. How about you just text him? All right, you can go now. Right. You have to write seven seven seven. Your angel number. Get a life. Get a clue. She was born in Vegas. That's how you know it was her angel number. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky sevens. Oh god. So um Rory is gonna be waiting. Right. I mean, she makes him wait a hell a long time too. She doesn't even know that you have to get in the car on the other side. She's very upset by this, too. Okay, but you're a doctor. Yeah. No, she's not, though. But you are, you said you're a doctor. She works in a physical therapist's office. I'm telling you, they're like, hey, As get what? that guy on the bike. They're like, <laughs> get that Elaine, guy on the bike. Elaine made pee-pee on the table. Right. Go squeegee the table. Go squeegee the table. She's going to get to her eye doctor's appointment. Go rub Tracy's meatball. Go put the heating pad on Noelle's lower back. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you know, specific. but you know what I'm saying? It's like homegirl does not know what to do on her own. No, 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 no. So she just looks so off. Yeah, she is off. Also, I know she's off because she hasn't told her boyfriend to do something about his eyebrows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he, she's like, she's like, who am I? I don't even know if I'm wearing a wig or not. <laughs> um. So they get to the hotel. He made her, he brought bread and he made her chicken curry. And she's like, nope. He's like, I work so hard on it, like all day long. Too. Yeah, she's I feel like, so nope. bad for him. She's like, I never ate curry. So he's like, okay, you know what? Let me go into the other room and scream into my pillow. Right. Let me go into the other room and cry. This poor guy. He's like, I thought it was kind of rude. So then he puts rose petals on the bed, lights, candles. And she's like, all right, I got to go to bed right well that's the thing he, she's like i'm gonna take a shower he's like can i come she's like no and it's like this guy thought he was getting laid for real yeah he thought a little chicken curry and a little rose petals were gonna do it did it and work it but did it's not like, work but it's like you nakedly facetime this man right hmm. weird it's so weird in the shower <laughs> so weird right but now but you're yet, just pretending you see yeah. him in person and you're not pretend you're pretending that you didn't do it interesting very interesting hmm all right imitates life Playing hard to get, if you will. Yeah, but it's also like, I really don't think she likes him. Yeah, I really don't think she likes curry either. But also, (laughs) (laughs) why wouldn't you talk about what you were going to make her? I don't know. I just feel like they they don't really even talk about anything. Well, that's the thing. I don't think that they really know know each each other all that well. Yeah, because I don't I don't even remember how long they've been talking for. There's no way to remember that. How would I ever remember that? There's no way to know. No, no way. Um, all right. Well, guys, 
This has, been fun. this has been real. This has been real fun. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Make sure you follow the podcast at 90 day podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Follow Noel at Noe girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Chuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I have some really fun shows coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, I will be at the stress factory in New Jersey um, with Vinny Guadagnino from Jersey shore. Mm-hmm. Um, October 23rd. Sorry. I just had to find the date in my head. I see that. I had to find it. It was inside my brain. Uh, And then more importantly, Mm -hmm. I will be uh, in the New York Comedy Festival on November 15th in New York City. Guys, all these tickets, TracyCarnazzo.com. TracyCarnazzo.com for everything podcast related, including our Patreon. TracyCarnazzo.com. TracyCarnazzo.com. Bye. Bye.